Okay. Stevie, well played. In the end, it seemed rather a, a, a nervy way to finish that match. It seemed so comfortable for so much of it. Yeah, uh, we knew in the second half uh, they were just going to come out and give it everything, and especially with the big lad up front, we knew it was going to be a barrage. But I think Mazza needs a shout out. He was brilliant in goal, and the two centre halves really stepped up to the plate. I think it was really good defending. Because in that first half, of course, you got the first goal. Um, yeah. Very neat goal it was as well. That must have pleased you. Yeah, uh, obviously, when you score a goal like that, it's always nice, but uh, they don't come very often for me, so I'll, uh, I'll savour it even more. Well, you deserved it because you'd closed the defender down, you'd, you'd created that opening for you, but then when you were one on one, it was a, it was a striker's finish, really, curling it around yeah. like that. Believe it or not, I used to play centre forward as a kid and I used to score a few goals, so maybe I was coming back out of <laughs> It was a very neat finish, and at that point, I think we all thought that we might then start to see Mansfield relax and play some of the better football, yeah. but it didn't really happen that much. You got the second goal, and it was only really at the end of that first half. Yeah. If the first half had gone on a few minutes longer, mm -hmm. you'd have probably scored a few. Yeah, yeah. like you say, sometimes you just get into a bit of a groove and I think we were coming into it at the end of the first half. Sometimes you don't want half time to come and I think it was exactly what they needed. I bet the manager had a right go at them and they came out and the game changed totally, to be honest with you, in the second half, but we always knew that was going to happen. Were you surprised to have been given the nod today? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Uh, obviously, because I've come straight, I haven't even been on the bench recently, So, but it's always welcome and I look after myself, I'm always ready to come in. So I think uh, a couple of lads were uh, shot to get the, the shout, but obviously we've all stayed to claim for next week now. Well, it was interesting that so many changes were made. You got this different formation as well from last week and, uh, and four changes as well. It made it all look very different, but it must please you that, as you say, not having been involved at all in the 16, then to get chucked straight in, yeah. you, know, you know you can earn your place there. Yeah, definitely. Um, it, it was a different uh, layout. Uh, I think it was a bit more compact in the midfield away from home. Um, so, um, some people might say it works, some people might not, but at the end of the day we've, we've got the winning and I'm sure the Gaffer will be happy with it. Do you think you've done enough to, to keep your place? I'd like to think so. Uh, obviously that's the Gaffer's decision, but uh, I always give 100% and I hope I've done enough. And how pleasing was it after the week that you've had and learning the news that the club's up for sale again, that you've come out here away from home and no matter how you've done it, you've ground out, you've got three points? Yeah, oh, it's massive. Um, you know, as a player you've always got to try and put the, the stuff that goes off off the field uh, to the back of your head and play, but we're only human, do you know what I mean? We do worry about stuff like that and uh, it's, I think it's brought the lads closer together and uh, there's always been a brilliant uh, squad feel to the club and I think we've really stepped up to the plate and uh a bit of uh, togetherness was nice to see. Is it something you've talked about amongst yourselves in the last couple of days? To be honest, I haven't. No, I haven't talked about it with anyone, but uh, obviously with my girlfriend. <laughs> but um, the, I think the gaffer's had a word with him. I encourage you to put it back to the back of our head and just and do what we do, which is probably to play football and it's nice that we've come out and got the result. Great stuff all place. Thanks very much, cheers. Lee, well played. Your debut, how do you yes. feel it went? Quite well. To get to get a goal in the first game, unbelievable to be fair. Uh, I didn't think I was starting, I was shocked. It's the hell starting. But uh, we all played well. We all brought it together and come out with uh, a winning end. Thank God for that. Well let's talk about the goal because um, Paul Connor flicked it over and I thought if it was your goal you'd have celebrated a bit more than that but you turned around and pointed to Paul Connor and we didn't know whether to give it to him or an own goal or what. Yeah it's because he did all the hard work. It literally I didn't even, I thought it went in to be honest. Uh, I just run in, it posted and came out so I, to celebrate I just thought it's not worth celebrating to be honest. He did all the hard work and he did. He had a lot of celebration so I thanked him more than anything. Yeah. Well, it must have been so pleasing for you to get that goal in front of the away supporters there as well, and it, it gave you that cushion on your debut. I mean, that, that's the way you're dreaming, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, uh, I'm thinking this morning I hope to score today just on my debut, and thankfully I've got got a goal, so all good. You looked very relaxed out there. You looked quite confident. Were you, or were you racked with nerves? Really? At first, I was nervous, like like any, anyone else would be. But as soon as the game got underway, that just went straight out the window, and I just felt all right. So and got players behind me that was just unbelievable so did well you touched on it before about you were perhaps a bit surprised to be named in the in the starting 11 because yep. there's there's competition for those places and of course there's Rob Duffy sat on the bench who's got all these goals over the last couple of years you haven't really been on the bench and then suddenly straight into the starting 11 it, did it really come out of the blue yeah yeah I was shocked when he when he told me yesterday I couldn't believe it like cause I've not been really sat in stands and all of a sudden I'm straight into first level but hopefully I've done well enough to be back inside next week. Well, you've got this great goal scoring record. Every time I hear of your name, it's you scoring goals somewhere. Yeah. You've been out on loan a couple of times last year. Is it just been a case of you being patient and waiting to yeah, finally get the chance is. here? Yeah, it's been patient. Uh, and hopefully, it was, it, it's finally paying off. Hopefully, and if you keep choosing me, <laughs> yeah. I should sort of start scoring some more goals. Well, that's got to be the aim for you, hasn't it? To try yeah, and keep that jersey now. Yeah, of course, it has, yeah. And hopefully, mm. with the goal today, 
I might have next week, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll play. Thanks a lot, Lee. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Lee, how much do you think sort of going out on loan last season has helped bring your game on? Because certainly, you know, when, when I saw you sort of pre-season, you know, you looked a lot more kind of complete player than perhaps yeah. previously. Yeah, uh, it gave me so much progression in the game. Yeah. Because, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I played like a lower level. Yeah. And to come in, send me out and loan at higher clubs, yeah. just give me more experience playing in it in front of a crowd as well, yeah. which I've never yeah. done before. Yeah. So yeah, it brought my game on a lot. Well, David, you, you got the three points in the end. It seemed comfortable for the most part, and then suddenly a bit nervy at the end. Um, well, you might have felt nervous. I didn't. Yeah, I did. um, <laughs> but um, I think uh, you, when you come to Southport um, under a strong, certainly physical side, and uh, they're going to they're gonna have a spell, and obviously you're hoping for them moments that they we've seen it before that they can be telling moments. The game should have been over and done with by half time. Um, we played exceptionally well first half, but as I say, I knew that there'd be a, a slight storm, and certainly coming off the coast here, you expect a few storms, um, and there would be a moments in the game, and I felt we showed a lot of resolution, we showed a lot of determination, which is a, um, a fantastic uh, attribute, and that's what I want from my sides, and I felt that we showed that togetherness. And, um, and we withstained uh, uh, a lot of pressure in the last 10 minutes. The goal gave him a lifeline. I was a little bit disappointed with the, um, the second phase off the first reaction. There was a lot of tied legs in there, and um, again, you're going to get you're going to get uh, periods of play against a, a physical side. They were putting a large amount of ball in the area from uh, throw-ins and um, direct play, if you like. Um, and you have to defend against it. And I felt um, coming away from here, I'm very proud of my players. And how pleased are you on a personal note that you've made a few changes today? The two that maybe might have raised an eyebrow before the game were Stevie Eisted coming back into the side perhaps a bit out of the blue and Lee Gregory making his debut as well and they've, uh, they've both got your goals. Yeah, I was there to be shot at, wasn't I? Um, I'm sure I was. And people probably questioning whether you change things. I did it for a reason. And boys have trained hard and they, they know that I'm fair with them. And I think that that's part of man management. And um, the, the boys have come in and... Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased for Lee Gregory. He's um, a, a tremendous kid. He, he, he played all right today. He worked very, very, very hard. That was uh, an attribute um, that well, I know we've got in Lee. And he'll learn from it. But Meadows as well um, played a big role. And really, you know, if we'd have gone in 3 4 up, it would have been um, justified. But that, that, that's football. And in the end, you, you have to do the other part of the game where you have to be physical and match up and do the other part. So all round today there was a lot of positives mm -hmm. and going home with three points I'm a, I'm a proud man and I think Liam's got a very good side here, a strong side and he's done very well for this football club. I might be asking for a lot here but I'm, I'm just thinking that when you did play that nice football and towards the end of that first half when you hit the bar twice you carved them open a number of times, was it a little bit disappointing that at, at times actually a lot of passes went astray, particularly in the first half, and, and you didn't carve them open maybe as often as as, as they were there for the taking a lot of the time. This is the conference, David. I'm afraid <laughs> you've been watching much of the day too much. <laughs> um, yeah, you're right, and it, it's why I've got grey hair now, and um, I feel rather old. But uh, no, I can't grumble. We were we were uh, very good at periods, and then there was that extra pass at times we could have taken. We mentioned that afterwards in the the uh, the meeting afterwards. But there's, you know, I'm not going to be too critical right now. The players don't need um, me to analyse it uh, depth by depth. And they're going home um, very pleased. But as I say, yeah, of course you can learn. It's game eight and uh, another victory. You talked last week about how there might be a, a few players you said looked a little bit flat and so missed out. Are there a few players out there today who've maybe um, put their names forward to, to stay in the side or to, to keep their place? I think um, the way we set up today was uh, conducive to a big pitch. Knowing where you're going is obviously important and coming here and made the pitch uh, big when we had it and smaller when we didn't have the ball and so that was a, the tactics I felt were, were conducive to the victory. Um, and, and I felt the players you know, certainly put them into practice, we've been working on that yesterday and um, for me there was going to be tied legs there, Nixie's not really played that much football, Stephen certainly, I mean he was running on unleaded at the end. And, um, but you know the little man uh, it shows the, the type of character that I like, and that's why Stephen is is worth his weight in gold. Um, and Luke and Lee, they both tired, and I was able to bring on um, good good substitutions. And this is a great result at the end of this week, isn't it? After a home defeat on the field and then off the field finding out the owners are, are planning on selling up, to come away from home here and, and get a win is huge. Well, I'm 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 very pleased for the owners today because I know that they were here and. Um, uh, it gives them a lot of satisfaction 
gives me a lot of satisfaction. There's a, a good following from our fans as well, so I, I'm delighted for those people heading across um, uh, the hills. And, you know, it takes character, and that's what we're after. And I feel that, you know, without going overboard, it's been a tough week, and you know, the players have shown the character that, and the characteristics of, uh, of men, and um, it, you know, it takes men to come and win here. Great stuff, congratulations.